Hey footy fans, I'm Finney. Just another footy fan having a bit of footy fun here on Footy Fin. That's my new tagline. How are we all? Now listen, a couple of reflections on tonight, Friday night's uh, games. And listen, I'll come out, I'll come clean. Uh, Finney hasn't done so well with his Friday night tips on this particular um, occasion this, this evening. The Sharks have come away with a win over the Eels, but what I'm really going to focus on uh, for the purposes of this video is that the Broncos have won at home at Lang Park, aka Suncorp Stadium, uh, their home ground, over the Cowboys. And listen, uh, fair play to the Broncos. Uh, they've come away with a 28-16 uh, to 16 win. They've won uh, by a margin of 12 points or two converted tries. And uh, listen, well done. Uh, it was all tied up at uh, 10 all at half time. Uh, we've seen uh, Jeremiah Nenai of the Cowboys score a double. I think he got a try in each half. Um, uh, but probably a bit of a turning point there was um, the great Corey Oates, a Broncos uh, towering winger of uh, about six foot six, uh, went in uh, to very close to scoring a try uh, in the second half there. And uh, Scotty Drinkwater, look, I don't think he did too much wrong, uh, but sadly he came into contact with Corey's head. And the bit of mail that I'm getting is that um, Corey might have a broken jaw out of that, which would be a very sad day. Uh, Corey Oates, who um, originates in the Brella Bar Panthers up in central Queensland there. Uh, he's been a stalwart of the Broncos for a decade or, or thereabouts. Uh, would be equally at home on the wing as he typically plays or indeed in the second row. Um, but um, let, look, uh, fingers crossed for Corey. Let's hope it's not an actual fracture of the jawbone, the mandible there. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll just uh, we'll we'll get as 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 the coaches and the doctors and the physios say we'll get some scans and see what the doctors say. But um, look, fair play. The Broncos came away with a with a well deserved win in the end. Um, um, they basically capitalised there. It was sort of neck and neck for the first uh, 45, 50 minutes. And then uh, they capitalised on having the extra man advantage, 13 v 12, with Scotty Drinkwater of the Cowboys in the Simbin for 10 minutes. They scored a couple of tries there. Uh, Ezra Mam went in. Uh, Katoni Stagg scored a try. And listen, I will say this, right? Uh, I'm not bullshitting you when I tell you this, but when I was devising my plans for this week, I had this nagging thought in the back of my head that, um, listen... If uh, Reese Walsh plays in this game, he could be the difference between the two teams. Now, um, note to self, before you make your tips, research the actual makeup of the two teams. I did not do that. And I just assumed that Reese Walsh, um, who has starred for the Warriors in recent seasons on loan from the Broncos um, and has played in the Queensland Origin team in the last couple of years, I just assumed he would not be taking the field tonight. How wrong was I? He's come up with a couple of would-be try assists in otherwise disallowed tries. He's come up with one or two try assists in actual tries. And he's put the icing on the cake, the cherry on the top of the uh, bun, so to speak, uh, with a, a, a lovely sort of uh, swan dive under the post for the final try to nail it for the Broncos, so fair play. But listen, lastly for now, as far as I'm concerned, the real talking point out of the first couple of rounds of the 2023 season, as far as the Broncos go, is the um, is actually the um, the shirts worn by Kevy Kevy Walters and the coaching staff. They're a kind of a, a cross between a lumber jacket. A lumberjack shirt and a uh, a flannelette, a flanny, a flan. Um, so they're 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 a maroon 
with a, uh, a white kind of tartan check. So whereas your traditional uh, lumberjack shirt might be a red with a black check, these are a, a, a deep maroon with a white check. And um, listen, uh, there might be some critics out there, but maybe, just maybe, this new apparel for the Broncos coaching staff and management staff is what's going to um, give them the extra X factor this this season. So, listen, wait and see. It's early days yet, but the Broncos are two from two. Uh, the Cowboys are one win, one loss. Uh, the Sharks have got their first win for the night, and the Eels, last year's grand finalists, are none from two. Okay, so you do the maths. Let's leave it at that. I'm uh, Finney, just another footy fan. Having a bit of forty fun here on Forty Fin. Uh, I love you all. Please subscribe. Massive milestone this evening. I have reached ten subscribers. That's I'm in the double figures. Thank you. Please give me all the help I uh, you can. I need this. Listen, I've gone over the six minutes mark. I'll leave it there for now. Take care. Have a great Friday night. Cheers. Love you all. See you soon. Bye for now.